Good evening, this is the Radio Prepper at radioprepper.com. Tonight we're going to uh, talk about the um, TYT MD680 UHF DMR radio. Uh, also my reasons for buying one and probably a couple more. Uh, first, the radio is of course DMR, that's digital. Uh, it also is analog, so it does both. Um, as you can see, it doesn't have a screen. And I really like that because it, it's much more simple. Um, you have a volume button. You have a channel selector with 16 channels. Actually, you do have 32 channels because you have two banks that you can switch from one to the other. Uh, the antenna, pretty short. You can use a bigger, longer one, of course. Um, the connector for the antenna is an SMA male, so that's different from the Bofang, which has an SMA female, so you won't be able to switch antennas between the two. Now, the quality of the radio seems to be really good. Uh, it's supposed to be uh, absolutely watertight. I think it's IP67. So you should be able to dunk it into a bucket of water and, and it should work. Uh, I wasn't quite sure about it because of the door here to uh, the jacks. Because it didn't look like uh, there was a seal here. But I think there is one around the jack themselves. And you can see you have little plastic... Um, round things here, I don't know how to call them, but protrusions uh, that make contact with those tiny seals, I believe. So uh, I'm going to leave that open because we're going to see the programming as well, uh, little, really quickly. But um, I'm not going to get into big details about this radio. You have the uh, PTT button here on the side uh, and two function buttons that you can program. Uh, you can switch power between uh, 6 and 10 watts, which is pretty high for a UHF radio. I haven't measured it, but um, I've read on other reviews that it does reach that power. Not on all frequencies, but um, it's still pretty high. Okay, uh, the battery, I believe, is uh, lithium-ion, 2200 uh, milliamp hour. It comes with a belt clip. And that's it, there isn't much else to it. Um, now the reason why I bought it, um, I do have a Bofeng, I used to own a Yesu uh, FT270R, uh, which is the uh, two meter version. Uh, I think quality wise, it seems to be in between the two. It's definitely better than the uh, UP5R Plus that I have, the Bofeng. And it's it might not be a, as good as a Yesu, but it's really, really close. So um, now if I could have bought the uh, MD380 or 390 radios, but those have a screen, and it's for me, it's uh, it's kind of a liability. I don't need all the channels. I don't need the extra features. Um, 32 channels is plenty for me. So uh, especially that in France here, we don't have many repeaters. So. Uh, it should be uh, plenty for this radio. Now, um, I haven't been able to make a DMR contact yet because I'm not even sure the uh, repeaters around here work. Uh, there are only two that are in range. Um, my local repeater in the town of Lille uh, did have a test, uh, but I missed it by, uh, by a few weeks. So uh, uh, they should install a uh, new DMR repeater pretty soon, though. So I'm, I'm going to be uh, pretty happy about that. Now, the reason why I bought this radio, first of all, uh, is because DMR uh, does afford you a little bit of extra privacy compared to uh, an analog radio. Uh, I'm not really interested in using this radio uh, to talk to the outside world. Uh, I have HF radio for that, uh, you know, long distance capabilities, so 
I don't really need local you know, chit chat, um, uh, you know, uh, uh, radio. So uh, I, I will use it for that, of course, because if you know it's here, I'm, I'm going to use it and uh, just for socializing uh, between uh, uh, OMs, uh, ham operators. But it's not my primary goal. So my primary goal is to, uh, uh, if I need to uh, have a private conversation with other people, uh, f friends, family. Uh, my girlfriend lives about uh, 10 kilometers from here on the fourth floor apartment. So I'll give her one radio and, uh, you know, uh, she can, uh, we can test it uh, 10 kilometers away, uh, fourth floor. Well, you know, in France, we count the floors uh, starting uh, with zero. So uh, it's actually the fifth floor. So it's pretty high up. Uh, Ten kilometers should be uh, should be no trouble. Uh, I have my parents in the same town here, so uh, you know uh, they can have one too. Um, and that's about it, really. Uh, they're pretty cheap at a, about eighty dollars a pop, so it's much less than um, well, it's not much less than the three eighty, the TYT three eighty, but it's it's quite a bit less than the, the, th the three ninety. And it's, I like the fact that it's, uh, for me, it's more rugged because it doesn't have a screen. So now I'm going to test it. Well, I can turn it on. One. Channel one. See, every time you switch a channel, there's a voice announcing it. Two, three, four, nine, eleven, sixteen, eight, one. And that's all it does. Uh, I have set it up here for the 1750 hertz tone which it does have it has to be on a uh, long press button so I put it on the uh, button 2 here that's button 2 uh, I also did the power high, high power, power low. and low power uh, the button 1 I use that to monitor and here I can switch uh, zones which is you switch from your two banks of 16 channels so you press a little bit longer. One. I heard two beeps, so that means it's on zone two. One. One beep, so uh, zone one. And that's it. Um, nothing else to it uh, that I can remember. I'll show you the uh, software a little quick to um, to show you uh, how it works. It's actually pretty easy uh, if you know uh, how DMR works. Uh, I was a bit concerned about it. I thought first it was pretty darn complicated. Um, but once I dug into it a bit and uh, read some, uh, you know, watched some videos on YouTube and read some web pages, it's actually pretty simple. So you shouldn't be afraid of DMR. It's not that complicated. Um, it's just a matter of, you know, understanding what the uh, uh, color code and the uh, talk group and uh, all that stuff is. Um, time slot but but it's fairly simple basically basically you have three those three terms to uh, to understand that's it other than that it's uh, pretty much like uh, analog uh, in, no but of course uh, it is digital so uh, all right so uh, let's see how we are on time here I might have to go on a second video to show you the program and uh, later I will also have a video um, of uh, operating this uh, radio in the field in different conditions uh, and at different distances so there you are uh, please visit uh, radioproppers.com and uh, check later for updates on this uh, TYT MD 680 have a good night